Hello, Anton the Whalen Banshee here, and today we've got another unboxing. The second of my horror packs has arrived. So this should be the DVD version. I suppose I could always open it out of the outer box before starting. All right, so this is the DVD pack. Four movies, $19.99 a month. Let's see what we got. Oops. Got a movie called The Door. That looks kind of interesting. Can't wait to read more about that one. Second movie we got is, oops, Final Destination 5. Um, so another movie in the Final Destination series. Uh, last month in the Blu-ray pack, I did get the fourth movie in the Final Destination series. So maybe they're running through those. All right, and the third movie is... Oops. Cry Wolf. This is a movie I think I remember watching when it came out a long time ago, but I don't really remember anything about it. And the final movie. Ooh. Antidote. The Cure is the Curse. Well, I'll go uh, look up a little bit about these movies and come back with some value. See you shortly. And I'm back with the second half of the June Horror Pack, uh, the DVD set. And like I did with the Blu-ray version, I'm going to go in the order of how excited I was to receive the movies. Uh, the first one, Cry Wolf. Um, takes place at a prestigious prep school, and they send out a hoax email involving a serial killer. It's some sort of a game. Unfortunately for them, uh, someone's taking it a bit too seriously, and people do actually start dying. Um, you can get this movie for about $4 on eBay. Um... You know, when I was looking at Amazon, I found that you could get this, you know, in a, in a four-pack with, let's see, Slither, Altered, and The Return, and that was $5. Um, so, not a very expensive DVD. Probably one of those ones to help, you know, stay within budget, because they could get a lot of them for a, a cheaper amount, and it was... I don't know if it's super well known. It's kind of well known. Um, they did get the widescreen version. When I was looking it up, I did see that there was a widescreen and a full screen version of this movie released, and they did give us the widescreen version, which is good. The second movie is the is Oops Final Destination Five. Um, much like the other movies in the series. Someone has a premonition. This time it's about a collapsing suspension bridge. Um, and some of his coworkers are saved because of this premonition. And now death is coming back to try and finish the job. So you get the you know fifth movie in the series. Um, like I said, the fourth one did come in the Blu-ray pack for last month. And I did look, and it seems like the Blu-ray for the fifth movie... Is really hard to find, so I guess that's probably why it came in the DVD pack. Um, but this one, you can get it for $5. You, you really can. Um, so, another one that's not terribly expensive. The third movie, Antidote, is about a plague-ridden world it seems like a zombie plague, from what I can 
um, make out of it. And our protagonists are a couple named Hannah and Matthew. And Matthew has been scratched and been infected with this disease. But fortunately, there is a cure. The downside is that the cure causes side effects that might be worse than the actual disease. Um, so I'm not the biggest zombie fan. I know a lot of people are, so I can understand why they would put this in the pack. Uh, and this one you can get for about five to ten dollars. Um, it's just if you know a few people selling it for five dollars, and then you know you could probably buy as many copies as you wanted for right around ten. The fourth movie, The Door, uh, the one that I'm most excited about, is about a down on his luck guy named Owen, who is given a who's given a job by a wealthy Japanese businessman, um, $500 a night, five days a week, and all he has to do is make sure that a door doesn't open. And when you get a job like this that's too good to be true, there's probably a catch. And things do go awry, and Owen has to try and survive what is beyond the door. And this is the type of movie that I that I really get these type of packs for is movies that I haven't heard of and I really would have a hard time finding on my own. In trying to price this movie, um, I had to look all over. One of the problems could be that it's called The Door and everything was trying to correct me, to asking me, are you trying to search The Doors? Why, no, that's, that's a wonderful film, but that is not what I'm looking for. Um, so I actually had to go to the actual distribution website to be able to find it. And it's in Canada, and all I could get was in Canadian dollars. So the value of this back would actually, is actually going to fluctuate a little bit depending upon the Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar conversion rate. Um, so to have it shipped to me, it was right around $17 Canadian, which at the time of the filming of this, or recording I should say, is right around $13.27. So to look at an overall value, on the low end I got right around $27.27, and on the high end I got $32.27. This is looking at the door at the 1327 amount. To do it for any day, um, it would be 1419, I'm sorry, not 1419, $14 to $19 plus $17 Canadian. So overall, you definitely do get more than what you paid for. And I think that well, whether or not it's good or not doesn't particularly matter to me. Uh, the door kind of saved this pack because it gave me something that I had never heard of and wouldn't have heard of on my own, and it actually does look kind of interesting. Um, next month, they are uh, advertising an exclusive DVD, so I'll definitely be keeping this pack until then, and I'll probably be keeping it for a while. I like getting horror movies. Anyway, until the next video, uh, bye. Hope to see you soon.